Hello my friends, thanks for stopping by my channel and especially a huge welcome if you're new. Congratulations on your pregnancy. I post free yoga videos here on YouTube at least once a week. So I'd love it if you joined the family and subscribed. And if you're pregnant like me, head on over to pregnantandpowerful.com to get all my pregnancy videos, news, reading lists, updates. This is a short sequence to ground you and connect you with your baby when you are short on time. We're just gonna start in a cross-legged position and begin with Sufi grind. So we're just going to inhale forward, exhale back, just making some circles with the spine. And you can definitely sit up on a bolster or pillows as you do this. Just get some nice height and elevation in the hips or if it feels okay for you to be sitting directly on the floor like me, you can do that too. And just inhale forward, exhale back. And then reverse the circles. It's a great way to just bring a little bit of gentle movement to the spine even when you don't feel like doing a whole lot. Good, and then come to center now. Just take both hands to your belly. Close your eyes and just take a full five breaths to connect with your baby. So inhaling deeply, sending your breath down into the belly, the home of your baby. And exhaling completely, allowing the whole body to relax and slow down. And huge deep breath in and out. And I'd like you to focus on the space just above and between your eyebrows, your third eye center, the seat of your intuition. So just bringing your focal point there, this area of our intuition, pituitary gland is directly connected to our uterus. So the more you connect to your intuition, your third eye center, the more you connect to everything your baby needs and wants. So let's just spend five breaths here, bringing the closed eyes, rolling the eyes up and in towards the third eye, hands on belly, making this connection to this new life within us. Maybe for the first time all day, send a message directly to your baby. It could just be hello, or how are you doing, or I love you. If you're feeling strong and good, use these next few breaths to send your baby strength. And if you're feeling tired or depleted, ask for strength from your baby. Tell them you need their support right now. Good. 
slowly open your eyes and make your way to an all fours position shoulders over wrists hips over knees best you can try to keep your focal point your internal gaze to that third eye center just above and between the eyebrows we're just going to take some cat cow just lubricating the spine again so inhaling opening the chest taking the collarbones back exhaling drawing the navel up and in letting the low back round chin into chest a few more on your own breathing in breathing out go as slow or as fast as you want to go You can move this into a figure eight pattern now. So rocking your weight over your wrists to the right and then to the left over the seat. So just making a gentle figure eight motion. Connecting into the hips. Just allow your intuition to move you. Good, and then pause and find stillness at center. You can back your hips up and walk your hands forward. So your seat stays over your knees and just allow your forehead to move towards the floor, just opening up the shoulders and the chest. Relax both shins into the floor. Just take five deep breaths here. Take the right forearm and thread it underneath the left, coming into a gentle twist. You can rest your right temple on the mat. Take your left hand alongside your shoulder. Let the left elbow point straight towards the ceiling. And just find any twist that's comfortable for you. Imagine squeezing a block in between your inner thighs so the inner thighs hug in towards one another. Low back is neutral. We're just looking for a twist in the upper spine. Good, and then take it the other way. Left arm under right shoulder. Left temple to the mat. Our head can hang. Can keep the right arm stretched out right. Or bend the elbow, taking the right hand closer to the face and using that right palm pressing into the mat as a little bit of leverage to spin. 
to hug your baby up and in here. So your low back's not arching, navel's not dropping towards the floor, and squeeze the inner thighs together, just enjoying the stretch in the upper back. Last two breaths. Good, come back to center. Return to that puppy pose once again, just letting the chest fall towards the floor. Two breaths. Let your heart melt deeper and deeper towards the floor. Good, and then gently walk your hands towards your body, pressing yourself up. We're just gonna come to stand on our knees. You can pad your knees with some blankets. That's a really good idea. Otherwise, you can always just fold over your mat for a little extra padding. However you do it, we're just here, long and tall. Extend that right leg out to the side. So it's just parallel with your body. And then we're gonna take the left arm up and over, just coming into a nice, big side body stretch. Relax the shoulders down and back. Hug your baby up and in. And you can take your gaze to the ceiling or just straight ahead. Close your eyes and just connect with that third eye center we talked about space just above between the eyebrows, fusing your attention, sending your breath there. Two more breaths. Good, come back to center. Take the right knee in and extend the left leg out for the second side. Take the right arm down, around, and up so you're mirroring, doing the same side as me. You can hold that leg for support, either on the thigh or the shin. Open up through the right ribs. Let the shoulders relax. Lengthen the tailbone down and hug the baby up and in. Breathe into your right ribs, close the eyes. come back up and come back to a seated position any comfortable seat sitting up on bolsters cushions blankets or directly on the floor take whatever leg you had in front earlier to the back so you have the opposite leg in front just take your left hand to your heart and your right hand to your baby relax the shoulders down the back and feel the crown of your head line up directly above your two sits bones, leaning slightly back in space if you need to to make that happen, lengthening the back of the neck, dropping the chin down. Just breathe into your body here. Every in-breath, Feel the expansiveness of your inner grace, your inner wisdom, your inner mother radiating, shining forth. And every out breath, just relax into this present moment, relaxing into your pregnancy, trusting yourself.
slow your breathing down as much as you can. Big breath in. Full breath out. Deep breath in. And out. Take both hands to your baby now. Just fusing any intention in here, maybe thanking your baby for this opportunity to grow and learn in being its mother, for coming on this journey. Take both hands to your baby now, thanking this baby for this opportunity to grow and change and expand for this gift of being his or her mother. As we sit here in silence for the last few breaths, just invite in Courage, wisdom, clarity. And getting stronger with each breath in your resolve, in your own inner knowing. In your confidence about how to best love, relax and nurture yourself and this baby. Keep your breathing slow and deep and full. Stay here as long as you like. Or if you're ready to move on, just bring your hands to prayer at heart center, pressing your thumbs into your breastbone, opening the chest, lifting the heart. Take a deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth, H-A. Deep breath in. Exhaling completely, H-A. Final breath, inhale all the way. Bring your thumbs to your third eye, that seat of intuition space above and between the eyebrows. And if you like, just to seal your practice and connect yourself with me and all the other mothers around the globe I'm doing this practice, you can gently lean forward and if you like, say namaste, namaste.